Margaret Callahan Maxwell, born December 23, 1921, was an infielder who played from 1944 to 1951 in the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. A native of Vancouver, Callahan was one of the 57 girls from Canada who played in the Ahage Blue during its 12-year history. A light hitter, she only topped the .200 mark in batting average twice her entire career, hitting .196 in eight Ahage Blue seasons with four different teams. But Callahan had an uncanny ability to get on base, by any means, way above than the pure ability to get the hit, reaching first base by walks, by a bunt single or being hit by the pitcher. Incidentally, the relatively low batting averages from the 1943 season through 1947, before a smaller ball was introduced in 1948, reflect mainly the high quality of the Ahage Blue pitchers, rather than a lack of skills by the hitters. In addition, Callahan stole 283 bases and posted a solid .319 on base percentage. On the field, she divided her time between playing second base and third for a collective .921 fielding percentage. She grew up in a home where baseball was considered of vital importance, as her younger sister Helen teamed up with her in the Ahage Blue and her nephew Casey Candale played in Major League Baseball. Athletically inclined, Marge and Helen filled their student days at King Edward High School participating in almost every sport the school had to offer, competing in track and field, basketball, lacrosse, volleyball, soccer, and field hockey. The sisters also played softball for the Vancouver Western Mutual team and performed at the 1943 World Series softball tournament held at Detroit, Michigan, where they were recruited by an Ahage Blue Scout. She improved to .196 in 1945 and reached the playoffs, but Fort Wayne lost to the Rockford Peaches in the final series, 4-1 games. In 1946 she batted .188 with a .355 on-base percentage, including career highs in stolen bases, 80, and walks, 88, while tying for sixth in runs scored, 70. Callahan enjoyed a good season in 1947 while moving to second base, when she hit .201 with a 331 OBP and 57 stolen bases, and belted her third and last career home run. She slipped to .187 and 42 steals in 1948, but set a career high .945 fielding percentage. During the playoffs, she hit .123 with one homer and five runs, as the Daisies lost again to Rockford in the finals, 4-1 games. She divided her playing time between Peoria and Battle Creek, hitting a career-high .236 with 26 steals and a .339 OBP. The 1992 film A League of Their Own is about the first season of the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. While the film does not use real names, filmmaker Penny Marshall seemed to be aiming for realism, as her film includes fake news real footage and pseudo-documentary present-day scenes at the beginning and end of the fictitious story. A League of Their Own itself was inspired by the 1987 documentary of the same title, written and produced by Kelly Candale, one of the five sons of the aforementioned Helen Callahan. The Ahage Blue players were relatively unknown until the Marshall S. film was exhibited for the first time. Marge and Helen Callahan are part of the Ahage Blue permanent display at the Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum at Cooperstown, New York, opened in 1988, which is dedicated to the entire league rather than any individual player. The sisters also received honorary inductions into the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum, 1998, and the British Columbia Sports Hall of Fame and Museum, 2008.